Okay, so today's episode of jQuery Rehab, we're going to be talking about inserting HTML. So if you've got some new content and you want to add it to a web page, how do you do that? Well, I've got a very simple example. I've got a main element with a paragraph inside of it. The paragraph's got a class. And there's really, there's four places here that I can put new content. One is before the paragraph itself, inside the main element. One is after the paragraph. And then either before or after the text that is inside this paragraph. So these are the different node locations where I can insert content. So let's take a look at jQuery's way of doing this, and then we'll see how to do it with vanilla JavaScript without relying on that library. Okay, here's the HTML. As I said, there's the four locations, one, two, three, four. Those are the four places that we can put the content. And I will just uncomment that or remove that so we can run this code. This is how jQuery does it. Um, now I'm running this code when I click on the element. One way is with the insert before and insert after. This is going to add content in position one or position four. So insert before, here I'm saying that the paragraph with the class original, that's my target. And I'm going to stick in a new paragraph with the text one. And I'm going to either do it before the paragraph or after the paragraph. So insert before or insert after. There is also a before and after method. It's really just you take the two <laughs> parts right here and you flip them. One is the thing you're targeting first. The other is the thing that you're creating first. It's doing the exact same thing. It's just you can write the code in a different order. Okay, so that's for position one and four, before and after the paragraph. And then inside the paragraph, inside the paragraph with the class original, we target the thing that we're going to put the content inside of, and then we're either prepending or appending. So I'm gonna put in a span with the word two or a span with the word three. So we'll take a look in the page, make sure this is running. When I oh, Let's open this up so we can watch it appear. Okay, so when I click, there we are. There's my paragraph one, my paragraph four, my span two, and my span three. All of them being added when I click. And those are the four locations. Okay, that's the jQuery way of doing it. I'm gonna put my return statement back in here to stop this running. Now let's take a look at how we're gonna do this with vanilla JavaScript. Vanilla JavaScript gives us a few different options of doing this. There's a method called append child. This is going to work for position three or position four. And if we look at the HTML here, let's minimize this. Position three or four. So the last thing inside of the paragraph or the last thing inside of main, that's where append child sticks things. And honestly, in all of the years that I've been writing JavaScript and dynamically adding content onto the page, more than 90% of the time, I'm either putting the content as the last thing, so I've got new content, I'm adding it to the end of my container, or I'm building the whole thing because I've re dynamically received a bunch of data. I've done an Ajax call to the server, I've got a bunch of data, and I'm creating all of the content. In either of those cases, a pen child works just great. So this is the method that I use almost all the time. But if you do need to put it someplace else, there's a couple of other options. Insert before lets you put it in position one or two. So before this text node or before the paragraph inside of what's the parent here. So the parent for this one, for position one, the parent is main. The new node is that new paragraph that we're creating. And then the reference node is this paragraph right here. I'm putting it before this paragraph. Uh, for position two, we can say that the parent node is the paragraph. We're inserting it before the new node will be that span with two. And the reference node is going to be this piece of text right here. So you need to get a reference to that text node. There is an alternative. If you're going to be jumping back and forth between using all four of these positions for whatever reason, you can do that with one method. So target element. This is where I'm putting the stuff. Insert adjacent element. That is the method. This is the thing that says, okay, stick this piece of content inside there. And then position, you've got four options. These are all strings. We either say before begin, after begin, before end, or after end. And then this is the new element that I'm placing inside there. So target element. 
Well, let's talk about number one and number four first. So target element is main. And then inside of main, I'm going to put my new paragraph with the word one or the word four. And which positions? Well, I'm going to put it um, inside of main. If I use that as my target, I will say I'm going to be after begin or right here before end. If I used the paragraph with the class original as my target element, then the position is before begin or after end. So after the paragraph ends, that's where I'm putting it. Or before the paragraph begins, that's where I'm putting it. So if this is my target, the position is either before begin or after end. If my target is main, then we're talking about these ones. Just inside, just inside, right at the start, right at the end. And then for the spans, this is my target, and I would use after begin or before end. Okay, so let's write the code for those four lines. We'll do, well, let's do, um, let's do one of each. So I'm going to create some variables here just to keep our lines shorter. So main will be document query selector main. This is going to be our paragraph. And I'll just jump ahead through editing this so you don't have to watch me type the whole thing. Okay, and so we're back. Now, some of this stuff can be compressed to make it a little bit shorter. We can write things all in one line, but I'm creating a bunch of different variables just so we can keep the actual lines where I'm doing the inserting a little bit shorter. Okay, we want to put number one inside of main before the original. So let's use these insert before for that one, just to test it out. Parent node is going to be main insert before and new node the thing that we're putting inside of main is going to be that paragraph one and the reference node what am I putting it before well it's that paragraph with the class original there we go so this should add that paragraph one when we click sure enough there it is and if we look inside the body there we go. There's the paragraph one before this. And that'll be the same thing with four. So main append child. And what we're sticking inside, all we need for append child is just the node itself because it's going to be the last thing. So I don't have to reference any position. This is automatically going to be the last thing. There we go. So that's number one, that's number four. Those are working. Now inside the paragraph, let's try out this insert adjacent element. So the target is going to be our paragraph. Insert adjacent element. And the position for number two is going to be after begin. And for number three, it's before end. So after begin, and the element that we're putting in is number two. And uh, before end for number three. And there we go. Two, three, one, and four. And if we look inside here, we will have all those elements. So one, two, three, and four. Now this does look like more code. We've got all of this to insert those four things. So it can be a little bit more verbose, especially if you're creating the variables to spread this out. Now we could do things like put the uh, create element inside of here. We can call, set the text content on this on the same line as well, but spacing it out like this makes it a little bit more readable. But as I was saying before, in all the time that I've been writing all this code, a pen child honestly has more than definitely more than 90% of the time, a pen child has been all that I've needed. And that is just simply the parent and the thing that you're sticking inside of there. So it's, it's no 
more code that you would have with jQuery. And with this code, I don't need the jQuery library. And that is the whole point of all this. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a copy of this page as a code just linked to in the description so you can play around with it. And as always, thanks for watching.